Well, it is that time of the year to start thinking about your spring landscape. And fall is the best time to be planting your bulbs. Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company Hello. is here. Lisa. Good to see you. Good to see you guys too. Is it too early to plant? It's a little bit early to plant. We like you to wait till after there's a frost. Okay. The ground is starting to cool down and so it's not going to get the bulbs to actually start growing with sprouts, but they'll be doing some root Plus development. Plus it's so wet. Yeah, it's It soggy. is really wet. Yes, so, yeah. So, what do we do? So, what you do now is you sort of pick things out. Mm -hmm. And so I brought a number of different kinds of bulbs. So this is a tulip. Those are a favorite. They Everybody loves favorite. their tulips. Now, do you plant Including them Including the squirrels. Do you plant them which way? <laughs> well, generally it's pointy side up. And on a lot of bulbs, this is a daffodil, for instance, tulip. Um, this is an allium in the onion family. And you see their roots on the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. But generally Mother Nature knows heaven and earth so if you're if you get a bulb and you're not really sure what it which way is up just plant it on its side the plant <laughs> will figure it out if you've never done bulbs before and you want to try it mm -hmm. how deep how deep do you dig and and how many can you put in one little hole well generally one little hole is one per bulb mm -hmm. you want to go three times the height of the bulb okay that's how deep you want to go put some bulb fertilizer in the bottom of the hole and then backfill with tulips since they're super popular for squirrels as these husks fall off, you want to make sure not to leave those out. Those are like a breadcrumb trail <laughs> yeah. for squirrels. So, you, but you have to leave them on. You know, if they fall off, sometimes they fall off and sometimes they don't. So just clean them up. Okay. What I like to do is I just get a bunch of bulbs and put them in a bag and mix them up and then kind of toss them out and just plant them where they fall. And then you get a really natural looking kind of thing rather than, you know, soldiers or little tiny groups of three or five. So it doesn't matter the big ones in the back, no. small ones in the front? Right, yeah, just mix up because they bloom at different times. So as the foliage dies back, something else is coming up. So, you, we, you know, when you're choosing, like tulips, you can have blooming from very early in the spring mm -hmm. all the way till almost summertime. So you just mix up the kinds that you get. My favorite thing to plant, though, are not the flowering bulbs, but this that you said. Is that garlic? Is that garlic? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. This is garlic. And this is one called German porcelain. This is how we identify them. We put... Um, little initials or whatever. Why is it your favorite? It. Because garlic is so easy to plant. So uh, usually, first of October, you're going to take this apart, just like you would if you were cooking with it. Mm -hmm. And then you plant each clove about six oh. inches deep and about six to eight inches apart. Backfill it and put a nice layer of marsh hay or straw mm -hmm. or something on top. And then by late June or early July of next year, this will turn into this. Hmm. And so instead of having one clove, you'll have eight or 10. And you know, you get garlic at the grocery store and it's the same garlic, but you can get, um, you know, German porcelain or music, or there's Polish ones that are really good for baking mm -hmm. and some that are sharper tasting than others. I can smell it from here. Yeah. I know, because I just stuck my fingernail on it. <laughs> so do your shopping now and plant after that first frost? Yes, absolutely. Right and it's really, that's all you really have to do is just plant it and forget about it. It comes up next spring, mm -hmm. you cut the scapes off, and then when the leaves start to yellow, you take a fork and dig it out. Really satisfied. Or you can't leave them in there? Yeah, you just leave them in all winter. Can, and, but can you plant it like with within another bed? So let's say I have Asian lilies, if you, which, well, which bloom later. For the garlic, not really. Not garlic, but the flowers. Oh, flowers, oh, definitely. Yeah, intermixed stuff, especially because certain bulbs that bloom early, the foliage will die back, and then mm -hmm. it's kind of ugly. So you want something else to sort of hide that. Mm -hmm. And you have to leave that foliage until it really gets super trashy right. looking. That's what gives energy for the bulb for next year. It. But the garlic you dig up. See, the I was, garlic, I was okay, confused. I'm sorry. These are the flowers. <laughs> yeah, no. Actually, if you let garlic go, it does make quite a nice flower, but it's way more fun to eat it. So, <laughs> this you'd want to plant in its own spot. Away from the flowers. Good stuff. Yeah. All right. Lisa, thank you. Thank Wait you. for the first frost. Get out and Wait get your balls, frost, folks. Yeah. Okay.